New Year VC and YouTubers everywhere. Not much longer and it will be 2017 in New York. I want to do my album of the year for 2016. Of all the people I see, why did they pick on for me and put rocks in my bed? All night long I weep, so how can I sleep? Yeah, I'm afraid to play much more of it than that, but my pick for Record of the Year 2016... Alan Toussaint, American Tunes. As uh, most of you know, Alan uh, died last year. Um, this would have been my pick of the year anyway. This is a double LP, Gatefold. The vinyl has three bonus tracks that you don't get on the CD. Comes with lyric sheet, information about the recording, a story about the recording. One of the other good things about this record is mastered by Bob Ludwig. Uh, two heavyweight audiophile vinyl records. This is an outstanding quality record. Of course, uh, this music is right in my sweet spot. Uh, New Orleans piano, early styles of jazz, but mixed with lots of New Orleans and other kinds of stuff. Has uh, uh, several tunes on here that you might not think of. Um uh, Danza by Gottschalk. Uh, one of the things that this record is tied to a little bit, my record of the year last year. You may remember this. Rihanna Giddens. Well, she's got two tracks on this album. Rocks in My Bed, she sings, which was a Duke Ellington tune. I wasn't particularly familiar with that tune. Also, Southern Nights, uh, not Southern Nights, excuse me, Come Sunday, uh, Duke Ellington tune, kind of a gospel tune there, just fantastic. For me, it would be worth the price of the album for just those two tunes, but it's loaded with good stuff. Uh, Fats Waller's Viper's Drag, of course, I mentioned Southern Nights, the biggest hit uh, song probably written by Alan Toussaint. But uh, this is just a terrific record. I'm going to make this album of the year, 2016, a two-part record. I want to include this record. Sorry about the glare. Alan Toussaint, The Bright Mississippi. This record, not the record, this album was originally issued in 2009, but I'm going to call it a 2016 issue and tell you why. In 2009, I saw Alan Toussaint and his band do this program on this album on Austin City Limits. It was so outstanding the next day I ordered the CD. Well, the CD came. Of course, I love all the music on here, but it was one of the best-sounding CDs I've ever had. The sonic qualities were just outstanding on it. So last year, when I got back in the, in the vinyl, the VC, I wanted to get this record. So I'm checking around. I can't find this record anywhere. Uh, and uh, so I looked on Discogs. Well, there was one copy for sale for $800. And uh, so what that tells me is that when they did this CD, they probably run off 50, maybe 100 vinyl copies just as tests and so forth. And record people, executives passed them around uh, because you could not get this record. 
Well, with Alan Toussaint's passing last year and the American Tunes album that he had recorded but not had not been issued, they reissued this record, or they issued it on vinyl, actually, for the first time. So even though the record came out in 2009, you could not get the vinyl till 2016. Uh, for me, this is one of the top ten album recordings of all time. These two albums go together in reality. Uh, so that's my pick of record of the year for 2016. Alan Toussaint, American Tunes, wishing you all a happy new year.